The first step to rebuilding the carburetor is to turn the ignition switch off and remove the key. Lift the seat. Remove the bolt connecting the negative cable to the battery and tuck the battery cable away so it doesn't touch the battery post. Lift the mower hood. We've removed the hood to give you a better view. Remove the air duct mounting screws and pull off the air duct. Rotate each air filter cover retaining knob counterclockwise and pull off the air filter cover. Remove the air filter. Remove the air filter housing screw. Remove the front blower housing mounting bolts. Remove the rear blower housing mounting bolts. Lift off the blower housing. Remove the lower dash fastener and pull off the lower dash. Clamp off the fuel line with hose pinch off pliers. Release the clamp that attaches the fuel line to the carburetor and pull the fuel line off the carburetor. Use a shop rag to catch drips. Remove the air intake mounting nuts. Detach the breather tube and remove the air intake. Disconnect the wire from the fuel solenoid. Take a digital photograph of the carburetor linkage connections to document their location for reassembly. Remove the carburetor mounting studs. Disconnect the throttle rod and the throttle spring. Disconnect the choke rod. Pull off the carburetor and place it on a clean work surface in a well-ventilated area. Unthread the solenoid valve and remove it. Remove the float bowl, draining fuel from the float bowl into a fuel-safe container. Punch out the float hinge pin. Remove the float and needle valve. Remove the float bowl gasket, engine intake gasket, and air intake o-ring. Clean the float bowl and gasket seating surfaces using carburetor cleaner and a shop rag. Use a paper clip to remove any float bowl, gasket, and air intake o-ring residue. Use carburetor cleaner and a paper clip to clean all the holes in the carburetor, paying close attention to the main and idle jets. Let the carburetor dry completely before reassembling it for at least 10 minutes. Lubricate the new float bowl gasket with a small amount of petroleum jelly. Install the new float bowl gasket. Install the new needle valve. Reattach the float with the new hinge pin. Attach the float bowl with the solenoid valve. Install the new air intake o-ring. Position the rebuilt carburetor near the engine and reconnect the choke rod. Connect the throttle rod and spring. Install the new intake gasket on the engine. Attach the carburetor on the engine with the mounting studs. Tighten the studs firmly. Connect the fuel solenoid wire. Attach the breather tube to the air intake and connect the air intake to the carburetor. Install the air intake mounting nuts. Reattach the fuel line to the carburetor with the hose clamp. Remove the hose pinch-off pliers from the fuel line. Reinstall the lower dash and secure it with the fastener. Position the blower housing on the engine and align the air diverter in the housing. Reinstall the blower housing mounting bolts. Reinstall the air filter housing screw. Reinstall the air filter. Position the air filter cover on the engine and turn each retaining knob clockwise on the cover. Reinstall the air duct and secure it with the mounting screws. Reconnect the negative cable to the negative battery terminal. Lower the seat.